Or this time the quick speed shop, check it out, I got the C10 back there. Wait a minute, what? Oh, where did that come from? A blue square body short box, step side. Well, let's go out and get the tractor out and unload it and I'll show you what I got for it. What in the world? I just happened to be on the face space and found a step side bed to use on the truck over there to C10. This is a 80s, a kid said an 85. It's got the modern style lights and stuff on it, but it is unbelievably nice for what it is. The wood is rotted out in the floor. Like that's not a big deal. It's got one crunchy cross member in it, but the rest of it, look around the bolt holes. Everything is mint. I don't see any rust on the tailgate is mint. The fenders are really nice. There's one tiny little ding in that one. The uh, steps are nice. Everything is nice on it. Pretty nice on it. Look down there, yeah. And it's even sort of the right color, almost Hawaiian blue. So now you gotta be saying, what on earth did you buy a square body box for? They're not the same. Well, they're very, very close. And they can be modified to be the same, I think. The fenders definitely bolt differently. There's, they're a little bit bigger. And then you got to add some, a little bit of action where the steps go in the front. But that ain't no thing. I got a welder, man. I got a welder. Ain't no thing. What well, my plan is, since this box is so nice, what I can do is literally, when we shorten the chassis over there, we plop the sucker right on and just run it like this for now. And then it'll give me time to collect uh, the proper fenders. And I'm probably buy an aftermarket tailgate and sell this one because this one is like freaking like mint bro it's like straight not rotted at all a original condition step side tailgate in mint shape's got to be it's got to be three hundred dollars easily for just for the tailgate and and the fenders the fenders are very nice i can probably get four hundred dollars for the fenders easily so we'll say like seven hundred dollars and then I'll replace the tailgate with an aftermarket one because I need a, a blank one here to louver. And I'm not going to cut the Chevrolet out of this one and ruin a mint original tailgate. I'll sell that. I can sell the taillight mounts because I didn't put the earlier style taillights on it. But in the fenders and stuff, I only paid $1,000 for this box, which is paying up, I thought. Well, not. it's not really paying up. It's the, it's the nicest one I found, and it's nice for like $1,000 is a lot of money to me. But... You know, this stuff isn't growing on trees anymore. If I bought this box reproduction for that truck, the 67 to 72, if I had to buy the whole thing brand new reproduction with fenders and everything, it's like $3,200. So a $1,000 box that I can sell $700 worth of parts off of and then just buy the correct fenders and come out, you know, a few hundred dollars into the box, it's it was well worth it. Let's try to get this box off here without destroying it. <clears throat> I think I can pick it from the center here. I got some straps. Would you look at that now almost had a catastrophe the one strap broke got to get out a bigger strap but as you can see 
it goes right on here. So you'll notice the box frame sticks out when you do the, the uh, shortening this into a short box. This gets moved and cut off and moved back in there. Um, it actually sits up in the box there somewhere. So that's all done, but I think it's sitting on the front mount. Yeah, there we go. The front cross member's on the front mount. So that's the foot that gets cut out of the truck when it gets shortened. Well, this will let me allow me to shorten the frame and um, then I can look for the actual correct fenders and stuff. So I'll be able to run the truck in primer with this blue box on it. Just, you know, so then I can work on it as I, I come along. But what I plan on doing is it it's pretty solid. I think the kid said it's an 85. It's got the modern style lights and stuff like that. It's in really nice shape. These square body fenders are mint. The step sides are mint. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull the fenders and the step side brackets and the original tailgate off this when I go get ready to do the final paint on the truck. I'm going to buy an aftermarket tailgate that doesn't have the Chevrolet script in it because this gets louvered anyways on the truck when it gets built to replicate my dad's truck. So he actually went and sawed out this panel and then welded a panel. So the whole thing was embossed and he louvered the panel and then welded it in here. So if I get one of these tailgates without the uh, Chevrolet and it'll be a lot easier to louver. And instead of doing all that welding, I might take a liberty and just louver the inset panel. You know, of the, nobody's really gonna know it's be close enough. I can probably get like four louvers in there. So I'll probably just get the aftermarket tailgate and louver the inset and call it good enough. That way I don't have to do a bunch of welding and body work on it. But I'm definitely gonna sell this tailgate. This tailgate is like, like brand new. It's straight, it's rust free, it's mint. That's probably easily, like I said in the other video before this, it's probably easily $300 for the tailgate. I'm going to guess the fenders are going to be like $400 for the pair. I mean, they're really nice rust-wise and straight-wise. There's one tiny little dent in the driver's side one here, a tiny little dent. But the, these fenders, actually, there's a scratch, but these fenders are very, very nice. And the steps are nice. Like that's got the filler door and the filler neck and everything. So this stuff will, I paid a thousand dollars for this box. And if I can get like seven out of the parts, that'll go a long way towards buying the correct fenders and uh, stuff like that. Oh my God, there's, what do we got here? Carpenter ants? Oh no. Oh wow, look at that. That was a mistake leaving these here. I was using them, dang. I'm gonna set these over here, out of the way. Stick with me for a minute. These are like hardwood pieces that I got to do stuff with. Dang. Does that mean this one's full of hardwood, full of ants too? Probably. Oh my God. Maybe they're just hiding out under the rain. Anyways, got distracted. So uh, how does that look? Chevrolet action. Yeah. Look how awesome that looks. From here, I've got the box just with a couple of bolts in the front of it. And it's sitting up a little bit in the back because it's sitting on the frame. And it's like 12 and a half inches from the back of the cab. So when you shorten the frame 12 inches with a shortening kit, it'll be perfect. But that bed, like I said, is so nice. I mean, for used like 1985 box from New York State, that bed is so nice. Um, I already looked up the parts for those beds are super cheap. Like the fenders are like 300 and something dollars a piece aftermarket. So I'm going to guess easily that a set of original running boards and fenders that are in really nice shape, it got to be worth four or 500 bucks for the set of fenders. The tailgates repop are like two, 250, 300. So I think original one is going to bring close to that. That's in really nice shape with original paint on it. So I'll be able to get my money back. The best part is the smoothie tailgate is only like $169. So I can sell that tailgate for more than the cost of the replacement one I need the louver. So that's that's an epic win right there. And uh, hopefully I can sell those fenders for about the same cost as buying the 67 to 72 fenders. They're a little bit more money new. They're like almost 500 bucks a piece new, I think. So maybe I can find some nice used ones at Carlisle in August at the truck show. We'll see. But for now, bam. Short box installed in my long box truck.
So that's probably it for today. Sorry, it's gonna be a short one, but I'm gonna have a bunch of videos hopefully coming out on the Power Tour. Like I said, I'm on Power Tour right now, and uh, I'm gonna try, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do like a daily upload. I haven't figured it out yet in that time versus I'm talking in the future, but for you, it's now. Uh, the space-time continuum, it's all screwed up. <sighs> Got to put the smoke back in my ears, couldn't even think about it. Anyways. Maybe you'll see his videos or shorts or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, that's today's video. Getting that mint box installed on the uh, C10. And the nice part about it is I can run that box just like it is while I'm working on the truck. Once I shorten it and lower it and do all the chassis and do the bodywork on the cab and, you know, get it in primer, we can drive it around, you know, with that box on there until I find the parts to do it the right way and then take the box off and paint it separately from the truck or together or whatever. So it's really nice that it's in that nice a shape that I can uh, use it actually right now as it is. So that, that was super awesome. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you from the Power Tour here in the next day or two with a couple extra videos on that. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you on the road at the Power Tour. The C10's over here with a new box on it. Bam.